Now, you had a woman that needed medical help. They called 911, and when 911 got there, instead of attending to her, they decide to ask her if she can afford an ambulance ride to the hospital during a medical emergency. And this woman died in the process of all this happening. Well, let's roll the clip. Just a week after giving birth, Crystal Galloway started having medical problems. After showing signs of a stroke, her mother makes a chilling call to 911. My granddaughter called me and said, Grandma, something's wrong with mommy. So I, I ran over next door and I found her in the bathroom. Describing Crystal slumped over the bathtub, her lips swollen, and she was drooling. Crystal eventually regained conscious. She said, Mommy, my head. Two fire medic units were dispatched, but she says instead of checking on her daughter, they asked if she could afford the ambulance bill. Their whole conversation was that my daughter couldn't afford an ambulance because she had just had a baby. They didn't do any vitals, no blood pressure, no temperature. Um, as my daughter, in the middle of her bed, under the covers, screamed and begged them to take her to the hospital. Her mother ended up driving Crystal to the hospital herself. She later died. This woman needed to be transported by EMS to the hospital. Our fire medics did not do their job. Tonight, Hillsborough County, Florida authorities are investigating. The medics, now on administrative leave, face a disciplinary hearing tomorrow. Now, what they didn't tell you is that this particular sister just had a third C-section. So that's where the complication was coming from, was a C-section. And she needed help. She needed to get to the hospital. And for them to sit there and question her about could she pay a $600 bill to ride to the hospital, because that's what the cost was, that had nothing to do with anything in that moment. You take care of that mess later. Get the woman to the hospital. Because this sister wasn't transported by medical professionals, that's why she died. It's just that simple. Of course, suing is just a given, but it goes back to an issue in this country when it comes to health care. And I know some of you are going to say, you know, man, they, they, this is Florida. This is how they treat black people, and, and that's a given. What's going on in Florida? But for me, yes, racism, but it's much bigger than that with this particular story. And I heard this. I said, why is it as – a people and this just kind of go out to everybody why is it as a people that we tolerate what happens with the politicians and the government in the relation to health care this country has enough money this country wastes food this country wastes resources just waste upon waste it's no reason why every u.s citizen should not have free health care. It shouldn't be an issue to take someone to the hospital. It should not. I believe that we should have free health care for all U.S. citizens. We should have free dental care for all U.S. citizens because if you can't uh, walk around with your oral health right, your health just isn't right. Now, if you want some sort of cosmetic uh, surgery like porcelain veneers or something like that and you should pay for that or if you want plastic surgery well that's something you should pay for but just medical care you know surgeries to to make you better uh, to cure your disease this is something that the government should pay for completely you got countries outside of the united states that have free health care i wouldn't care about paying more taxes to have that happen but if you have people that's healthy then you won't have these issues going on to be asking, oh, can you afford a $600 ride to the hospital? But, you know, there's a lot of people in this country don't want free health care. For instance, the insurance industry. If you were to have free health care, they're done because all the health care will be go basically just paid through the government. That's it. So you won't have no need for Blue Cross Blue Shield or United Healthcare or all these other ones who actually deny you from getting certain treatment or saying, oh, if your doctor say, well, I want them to have this medication, like, no, we don't approve that one. Give them this one. But yet you're paying your insurance bill every month. You get what I'm saying? Or for them to say, well, we only going to cover up to this. Um, and after that, your, your benefits are expired. But yet you still paying every month. 
for this insurance. It's a racket and your politicians don't care about you at all because if they cared about you, they would tell them insurance to go to hell and we want to pass universal health care for all people. Now that's something I do agree with, with Bernie Sanders on. Everybody need health care. It don't make sense for elderly people that can't go to the doctor. It doesn't make sense. Or if you need an eye exam, why can't the government pay that? I'm okay with my tax dollars going to help everybody go to the doctor. And that would actually put more people to work in the healthcare industry. That means they would need more doctors, nurses, etc. So it will be a boom for everybody. If they stop wasting so much money on military spending and trying to bully people with, with war, we can actually treat the people a lot better. That's actually making too much sense. What I just said, that's like real logical to, to, to do that for your citizens. But you have these evil politicians, all of them evil, uh, come up with an excuse why we can't have health care for all people in the United States of America. Because stories like this shouldn't be happening. A woman shouldn't be dying behind an ambulance ride and they're asking how much uh, you have in your pocket to pay for this. And that was even the wrong time to do that. You don't ask nobody up front, they got $600. You talk about that later, you bill people. I mean, you act like it was coming out your personal pocket or something. I personally feel that the EMS workers that were there, they should have some criminal charges put on them for that. They didn't even check her. They didn't do anything. You know, to me, that's like involuntary manslaughter. I mean, you didn't check her. You caused her death. Behind that, no, nah, man. I mean, that, that's completely wrong. That is completely wrong. That should not even be an issue in this country. But as I stated before, the people allow the politicians to get away with it. And I, I don't, I don't understand that, but let me come I mean, Let me know what you think about this particular story. $600 is what made a woman lose her life. $600, a woman had just had a C-section and they thought that that was okay at the time period. This country all the way around is screwed up and that's extremely evil. What happened It's also evil to not pay for health care for all your citizens. When you know good and well, this country has all the money it needs to take care of the people.